Alright. Nah, you get, you get. Even let the cat out of the bag, you um, you the question? Yeah, man, yeah, it's been an interesting summer. Been an interesting summer preparing for this, man. So, yeah, uh, very eventful, but definitely, man, enjoyed it. So, trying to put the rest of this life together. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. Uh, so, looking at you guys, you got on, on the defensive line. Uh -huh. um, who, in, in, in your opinion, is, is if you don't mind sharing, is kind of taking a, a step forward in, in their progression? At this point? Man, it's been great just seeing these guys put it together. Um, these last last several practices, these guys really been putting it together. Uh, starting off just still learning and things like that. Got some new guys in the room, but been putting it together. I mean, like guys like Josh Ellison, who's been been putting it together and doing a tremendous job. Uh, guys like William Whitlow, Kevionte Spears, uh, just to name a few guys, has just really been going out there and getting things done. Um, and very, very excited about that. And of course, you still got your depth with your Darius, Darius Jones, excuse me, uh, your Derek Hunters, um, your Zach Harris, Brockingtons, and many more. So, man, I, I really feel good about this room. Yeah, this yeah. Person. So, being able to be in, in the program for as long as you have, and in terms of recruiting, being able to get for sure. your guys towards what you're trying to coach, is, uh, how has that been? That stability? Man, it's been great because at the end of the day, you want to be able to come in here and build something that's yours and something that can help this program win, something that can help this program grow. And, and at the end of the day, that's what we want to do, and we've been able to do it by getting those guys in here. So it's been a blessing. Like I said, me and Clark has been been here for a while together, so we've been able to be around guys that were here when we got here and now newer guys. And at the end of the day, we know the model is all in, and, man, these guys are all in. So we, we, really, we really appreciate it. Um, I think the biggest thing is just, man, every day is just uh, the togetherness of these guys. Uh, these guys really do enjoy being around each other. They really do enjoy practicing against each other. They really do enjoy just spending time with one another. I know it's like cr cliche, a lot of people say brotherhood, but these guys really do enjoy that. Um, and you can't you can't pull them apart, you know, so it's great. There's no division in it. There's no individuality. It's truly guys just a family and want to see each other win. Uh -huh. I know you guys got a lot of guys in the trenches on defensive and offensive line. Yeah. Um, so how has that been just knowing that you've got a lot of talented bodies to work with? Yeah, man, it's always great to have that. Um, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, man, just going through a season up front with his offensive line and defensive line, man, if you can have depth, uh, you can do some good things. You have a rotation, you can do some good things. So it's been great just to have that depth, have these guys to work with, and just preparing for the season with them. So I've enjoyed it. And then uh, I got like Ramonte Hamilton, mm -hmm. his second year in the program. Definitely. How have you seen his progression in your team? Man, he's grown physically, athletically, mentally. Uh, I think the biggest thing with Tay right now, man, he's growing, continuing to be a leader, uh, whether it's with the younger guys, whether it's the older guys, holding guys accountable. So, man, it's been great having him around. With a guy like that in your room, you, you get excited because you want a room full of those type of guys. Um, and he does the right thing. He does what you expect him to do and tries to go above, above and beyond that. And I can't do nothing but ask for more. So. I really do appreciate that guy. He's busting his tail for us right now. Um, what's it like having a guy like Jalen Allen who's been mm -hmm. in the program as long as he has? It's great because he knows how things are supposed to be done. Uh, you got a guy like Jay who's been here his whole tenure. He knows how things should be done. And if a guy has any questions or get confused about anything, he's the type of guy that, hey, look, this is an example. This is how you get it done. Um, so he definitely sets an example for those guys. He comes with passion every single day, fire within him. And with a guy like that, you just love to have that person because you know, hey, when we step on the field, you ain't got to worry about 22. For, for Jalen, continue with that. I mean, he's been here and you've seen his progression. He's like his role has grown every mm -hmm. year. I mean, he's proved he's ready for every moment. Uh, when I first got here, uh, he wasn't in the position that he's in now. And all you seen was growth, seeing a guy that continue to work. I mean, just like we played in a bowl game in Montgomery, a guy who had one heck of a game, sacks off the edge, picked up a couple fumbles that year and took them back. And it's just, he showed throughout the year, whenever my numbers call him, be ready to go. Um, he continued to stay ready and he's grown ever since then. He's always been a guy that's hungry and that wanted it. And once he got it, it never was any letting up. He stayed on top of it and continued to bust the tail. Definitely. What makes him so good? It's just that drive. Yeah, like you said, his work ethic, that drive. Um, I think he definitely has a mission to outwork whoever steps in front of him or whoever around him, whether there's guys in the room with him or there's guys in front of him on the field. Um, so his, his work ethic, his drive, he understands the things he has to do to put himself in position to win. Um, and he's going to do everything plus more to make sure he comes out on top at the end of the day. 
man, just continue to keep working and doing what he's doing. Um, I think he's setting a good example as a leader. Uh, guys are following behind him. So continue to keep working, continue to bust his tail and be the example. That's all we can ask for. No. Um, how did how did you get wrapped into that? Uh, the defensive coordinator with the Chargers, me and him was at Alabama together, um, and I also know the head coach with the Chargers as well. So two great guys, and just asked me was I interested in doing it, and it was a no brainer. So I said definitely. Um, it was great uh, just to be able to go up to LA and work with guys like Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa. I mean, you can't ask for nothing more. A room full of guys, Thule, um, a lot of those guys in that room, Chris Rump, it's a room full of great players, man, and two future Hall of Famers in that room. So, man, it was an amazing opportunity. And these type of opportunities and programs just in general, how important do you think that is um, just for the sport to just continue to grow in the coaching profession? I think it's very important because not only that, uh, it's connecting guys a lot of different ways, whether it's the relationships, coach to coach, or not only that, just being able to get different things you can bring back to your guys, whether it's a drill, whether it's some type of mentorship, or whether it's just some type, some a word that you got out of a meeting to be able to share with your guys. Um, and not in, because we know these guys that we coach here, they look up to those players, you know? So you're literally shoulder to shoulders with the guys that they look up to and let them know like, look, this is what it takes to be on that level. Uh, I was around this level, this is what it takes. And, if you have it, come on, let's make sure we can get there, and I can show you how you can get there, man. But it's great. I think it's a definitely an amazing stepping stone for coaches, for sure. Yeah, what, in terms of, like, what, what does that look like for you guys? Like, when mm -hmm. does that start? How long are you there? Um, I went in July. So I was just there for a week. You, you go different times throughout, whether it's fall camp for them or whether it's uh, rookie mini camp or things like that. Uh, so just different times of the year. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And so uh, sharing this also with, with – uh, yeah. Larry, who, who was your coach? Yeah. How, was, how was that experience? Man, it was cool. It's funny because, like you said, he coached me in college. Um, and like I said, I never wanted to coach. Never, never. Then the bug bit me my junior year. Um, and it's all, me and Larry's always been in touch, even after I graduated and even after he moved on. Uh, so it's, it's interesting. So once he got here, I remember calling him when I found out he was coming and was just really excited for him and just excited to be able to work with him. Now I, he coached me, so now I can work with him. So the other side of the fence. So it's been, it's been exciting. Thank you. Appreciate you.